this special mini episode of Stitching the High Notes. This is to announce the winners, or some of the winners, of the Outlander Cal, which just ended this few weeks ago at the end of June. I co-hosted this cowl with the lovely Jilly of the Knitting Broomstick podcast. And um, this was to celebrate all things Outlander, all things having to do with the wonderful book series by Diana Gabaldon, as well as the um, TV series on the Stars Network, which will be starting up in just a couple of months here, and I'm so excited. So as you can see, I'm decked out in all of my plaid and I'm ready to celebrate this wonderful knit along that we had together. It was such a pleasure. It was so wonderful to talk about those stories and to um, revel in all things having to do with the Highlands and see the progression of all of your wonderful makes and to share my progress, which I'm still working on. Um, and just, it was utterly inspiring. So thank you all for participating. I'm sure this will be an annual thing. There are so many other Outlander inspired make-alongs and knit-alongs out there. So do continue to take part. I know I will, if whips are allowed, I'll probably cast on something else at some point. But without further ado, let's announce the winners. There were 92 OMG entries in the finished objects thread. Uh, I am including in that number the first post, um, but using random number generator before this, I selected the winners. And so I'm going to share that with you all right now. So the first winner uh, will receive this wonderful prize package, which is a skein of yarn of your choosing donated by the amazing Tracy of Nora George Yarns. Thank you so much, Tracy. And paired with this is a pattern that is Outland, Outlander inspired of your choosing by the wonderful CC of Java Pearl Designs. So you get a pattern that's Outlander themed of your choice and a colorway of your choice from the lovely Tracy of Nora George. So the winner of this first prize package is Drum roll. Number 63, who is Sock Knitter, who is Debbie from Missouri. Congratulations, Debbie. So get in contact with me and I will um, reach out to Tracy and to Cece and they will coordinate with you on how to get you your yarn and your pattern. So um, lovely Debbie made a pair of Outlander socks, which I have up here pictured and it was opal yarn from their talisman series the colorway is craft which translates strength and ever-present quality in the outlander series strength of will strength of heart and strength of character they're so lovely debbie congrats yay the next prize package is also a pattern that is Outlander inspired of your choice from the wonderful java pearl designs and in addition you get one of these bags. Oh, look at all the plaid. Plaid on plaid on plaid. <laughs> this is a special Outlander themed bag or Scottish themed bag if you will from Cat in the Bag on Etsy donated for this lovely cow. So the winner will receive this and also a Outlander inspired pattern and inside Oh my gosh, it's so squishy too. You have pockets and there's a wonderful like tab here to hold onto some of your notions or onto some of your yarn. It has like a button and it has a handle and it's just so beautifully made. So, yay. Okay, the winner of this prize package is number 31, who is EW-ish Art. E.W. Ishart, who is Erin from New South Wales, Australia. Congratulations, Erin! And Erin, let me pull up what she made here. Um, everything that everybody made was like ridiculously beautiful. And I need, hold on, I'll BR, BRB, let me cut this so I can open this up and be better prepared. <laughs> Okay, Erin made a gorgeous shawl that, and she said about it in her finished object post, my win in Scotland 
quote unquote rent shawl made into a shawlette using once in the Highlands by C. Jane Knit. It's gorgeous. So congratulations. Um, reach out to me as with all of these packages and let me know you saw this and we'll coordinate getting that all to you. Yay! The next prize winner will receive a Outlander inspired pattern from CC of Java Pearl Designs as well as this Scottish themed bag from Cat in the Bag on Etsy. These cute little Westies and Scotty dogs. It also has this cute little progress keeper, which there's one on the other bag as well. A handle. It's got this cute lining and all of the pockets is your heart could desire inside. So the winner will get this lovely thing as well as a pattern of their choosing that is Outlander inspired. So the winner for this prize package is drum roll, number 53 who is Jay Sornberger and they made, let me see here, oh gorgeousness, a star shower cowl inspired by the moment when Claire realized she had gone back in time through the standing stones. <laughs> As the lights from the town of Inverness are nowhere to be seen and the stars shining in the night sky are strikingly clear. I always feel this way when I go camping. I do too. This is a gorgeous work of art congratulations on your finished shawl or cowl rather and this prize package so just get in contact with me and I'll get this off to you the next prize winner will win a skein of gorgeousness which is this which is by Jane of family tree yarns on Etsy and this is an outlander inspired colorway called muddy hem so gorgeous you got like the Scottish thistle and the green and little speckles of little speckles of brown hinted around here and there and turquoise for the forget-me-nots it's so gorgeous so this is a hundred percent super wash merino it's a hundred grams 400 meters and it is fingering weight four ply and it is amazing and gorgeous so you will win this and a pattern that is Outlander inspired of your choosing from CC of Java Pearl Designs. So the winner for this prize package is number 91 who is Duva, who is Duva from Sur Trøndelag, Norway. I hope I said that sort of kind of right. <laughs> so Duva made a stunningly gorgeous pebble beach shawl um, which is by Helen Stewart and she said it would be perfect for Claire and I totally agree so congratulations Duva just get in contact to me with me and I will get this sent out to you ASAP the next winner will win a copy of Fergus's socks by Anna Freiberg and also this lovely package from Family Tree Yarns so for the crinkling splash not sorry because I love the crinkling um, and this is in the Standing Stones colorway along with like a little mini and some goodies. Some of these goodies will go with the previous prize package for the Muddy Hem. So just FYI. And um, this colorway is gorgeous. I have some caked up right here for some socks that I've been wanting to make forever and I'm hoping to cast on in the next few weeks. And this is what that colorway looks like all caked up super stunning and gorgeous and the makeup of it is 75 percent superwash merino 25 percent nylon it's 100 grams 400 meters it's fingering weight and it is four ply so you will get this as well as a pattern um a digital pattern of fergus's socks so the winner is <laughs> number 62, who is Mystic 71978. And that is Christy. Yeah, Christy from Springfield, Illinois. Congratulations, Christy. And so Christy made a gorgeous shawl, which is 
uh, the pattern is One Love by Susan B. Anderson, the one and only Queen Bee. And the colorway is called Thistle by The Silk Drop. Gorgeous. So congratulations, Christy. Just reach out to me and I'll get this to you in the mail. The next winner will win this prize package, which contains a stitch marker set from Blue Wolves Shop on Etsy, a pattern uh, that is Outlander inspired by the one and only CC of Java Pearl Designs, as well as this skein of Wild Happy Color. Oh! gorgeous to me this is like spoiler alert but this is like when they're in the 60s it's like free love whatever. but uh, it's so gorgeous so this is called hope springs eternal they'll be together soon that's my hope Claire and Jamie um, this is the nurture base and it is 80 10 10 so 80 percent superwash merino 10 percent cashmere 10 percent nylon it's 435 yards 100 grams four ply fingering weight gorgeous so you will get this you'll get the outlander pattern from java pro designs as well as this beautiful set of stitch markers and the winner is <laughs> Number 46, who is Jen2291, who is Jen from Gilbert, Arizona. Congratulations, Jen! Yay! So Jen won, or made rather, um, oh my gosh, gorgeousness. Jen made a beautiful scarf, and this is what she wrote about it in the finished objects thread. An important way to identify friends and foes in Scotland was through the clan family tartans. Making Jamie's wearing of the Fraser uniform, Fraser uniform at, at um, Castle de Yoch was a big deal in the series. And allowing Claire to wear it was symbolic of his vow to protect her. <laughs> Tartans are traditionally made with lines of different colors to make a regular pattern of squares. And this is gorgeous. I wanna learn more. We need to talk about how you made this. And well, I should look at your project page too. But Jen, it is gorgeous. So congratulations, reach out to me and I'll get your goodies to you as soon as possible. The next winner will win a stitch marker set from Blue Wolf's shop on Etsy, pictured here. And also a copy of the Fergus's Socks by Anna Freiburg or Freiburg. I need to figure out what, how do you say it, Anna. I'll reach out to you. Um, gorgeous sock pattern, of course. And they will win this sweater-sized bag made by my mama, which um, she has a new Etsy shop called Three Thimbles Studios. This is what she says is a sweater size bag. I think we got like four skeins of yarn in here or five even. It's pretty big, you can see how big my head is. Or a light cardigan. Um, here's her little tag. This is Outlander inspired fabric, which she got on fabric.com. So you can see it's got some Outlander on the bottom there. And it's drawstring with suede drawstring straps. Um, it's lined with the Outlander fabric and it's just got some really nice interlining, interlining, you know what I mean. And yeah, it's gorgeous. So the winner will win this and they will win that pattern of Fergus's socks as well as this gorgeous stitch marker set. And the winner is, okay, this was exciting because this really was random number generator. The winner is number three, who is Soprano Rama, who is my friend Cheryl, who knitted her, this was her first cow thing. So Cheryl's from San Francisco and it is amazing. So she made this gorgeous Outlander inspired cowl. She made it in a hot minute because it's on bulky weight yarn. So congratulations, Cheryl. I know you're watching and I'm gonna make make you wait to hear that you won this until you watch it. <laughs> so reach out to me and I will bring this prize package to you the next time I see ya. So congratulations, Cheryl, and congrats on taking part in your first knit along. And finally, 
we have a grand prize for a grand winner and this was donated from three shops who collaborated together this is a collaboration of a handmaker's bag company twigs and twine yarn company and little bitty delights and so the winner will win this amazingness omg which is a i would say sweater size bag gorgeously lined you can see the pocket in there there's a little ring for your notions your stitch markers it's got a lovely handle here's the card so you can see it handmakers bag and company and in addition to this you will win a dpn cozy that matches which is has snaps has it open on the end for your circulars which is awesome your circular needles and you will win this skein of yarn look at the green pow oh my gosh so this is called Lolly Brach, and it is a from Twigs and Twine Yarn Company. It is standard sock base, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 100 grams, 462 yards. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's so cozy feeling and looking. It's gorgeous. And in addition, I'm going to pop up a video here so you can see it properly. This handcrafted stitch marker set, Outlander inspired, from Little Bitty Delights. And you will get it in this cute little box. And here are all the little stitch markers. Yay! So you will get the stitch markers and you will get the yarn. And you will get the DB and Cozy, and you will get the bag. The winner of this grand prize is number 77, who is Juker, or Juker, who is Julie from Australian Capital Territory, Australia. Yay! Congratulations, Julie. I'm sorry if I said your rivalry name totally wrong. <laughs> but Julie, oh my gosh, she made a stunningly gorgeous shawl not just one but two so this was her second of two and this is um the outlander shawl and it is gorgeous i have it up here pictured and it's just the border it has this like green and this celtic kind of cable and it just screams outlander it just is utterly gorgeous and cozy i need to add this to my queue <laughs> so congratulations Julie reach out to me let me know you saw this and I'll pop this grand prize to you out in the mail so that's gonna do it for this set of prizes stay tuned there's some lovely additional prizes for you all that Julie will be announcing very soon and I again had so much fun taking part in this cow and co-hosting it with Julie I love you and I am so looking forward to the next season of Outlander. I'm continuing to read the books. I'm going to Comic-Con in just a couple of days, so I'm hoping I'm gonna arrive about three hours before the panel, but I just totally spit out of excitement everywhere. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to get into the Outlander panel because the cast and Diana Gabaldon are all gonna be there. And I, yeah, so thank you all. I hope you have a wonderful week and reach out to me if you won one of these prizes and stay tuned to Jilly's podcast. And yeah, love y'all. Bye. Mwah.